Hello guys and welcome to part two of making this character in Blender. Now in part one, which you can check out in the description below, I go through the modeling process with a tutorial breakdown. And this is part two, I'm gonna show you how to do the materials and the lighting. So if you haven't seen part one, check out the description below. And I'm also making this model here that I'm making available on my Patreon. So that's also in the description below. So let's get started with part two. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to go to our render settings. We're going to be using the render engine EV, so just make sure it's set to EV. Enable ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. Once you've done that, we can add in our lighting. So we're going to go Shift A. We're going to go to our light settings and add in an area light. We're going to go G, move it over to the side. Go to the light settings here, and because this is kind of like a large scene, you can kind of scale it down so you don't have to bump the power up so much. Because it's a large scene, I'm just gonna bump the power up to 1,200 for now. And I'm gonna come here to the size. I'm gonna give it a value of seven. Then I'm gonna to go to my front view. I'm just gonna rotate this lamp in towards the character. And then at the top, I'm gonna to rotate it in this way. And move it forward a bit. So let's quickly hit zero to go into the camera view. Hit Z and then go into a rendered mode. So let's have a look at that. Okay, that's looking pretty good for now. So let's just um, duplicate this light. So Shift D, moving it over here and rotating it in towards the subject. And then we're gonna come over here, Shift D, create one at the top and kind of rotate it in. So we just got three lights over here. And I'm just gonna bring this guy back and then Shift D, make another one and just bring it back here. So these four lights like this should be enough for now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our world settings. Just click on here and just bring this value slider up a little bit. So not all the way to white, but just to here. So now that we've done that, um, we already have our placeholder materials in place from part one. So we're gonna select our jacket here, first of all. We're gonna go into our shading workspace. So click on the shading workspace. Once we're in the shading workspace, make sure you go into camera view, hit Z and make sure you're in rendered mode. We're now gonna come over here to this principal shader and you can go with whatever color palette you wish, but I'm gonna go and make mine an orange, like this. I'm then gonna to come to the roughness, and I'm just gonna drag it up just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the color here, or the vest material, so just click on the body here, click on the vest material, and let's give this guy kind of like a yellowish kind of brown, very light, kind of almost like a dark cream color. Dragging this down a bit, just like that. We're then gonna select the skin here. You can make the skin whatever you want. I'm gonna kind of go with like a reddish kind of blush color, just like that. I'm gonna come to the subdivision, the subsurface value here, the subsurface scatter, and make it 0.2. And then I'm gonna come here to subsurf color and make it red, just a little bit reddish. Just gives it that skin quality, and then we're gonna bring the roughness up a little bit, I don't want it to be too reflective. We're then gonna select the hair or the mustache and with this hair material, I'm gonna come here and make it brown. It can be whatever you want. Um, there's a lot of different hair you can go with, but I'm just gonna go with a darker kind of hair, just like that and I'm bringing the roughness up a little bit, just a little bit. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna select the eyes here and we're gonna make that black. So you can make it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna kind of go with stylized button eyes and then bring that roughness down quite a bit. Once I've done that, I'm gonna select the button here and we're gonna to come to the button material here and let's make it dark. Almost black, but more like a reddish kind of brown. And then the last thing we're gonna do is select the backdrop and let's make that orangey kind of yellow make the brightness a little bit more. And that's kind of the color palette I had in mind for this. I really like the way it looks. So just something round about here. And there we have it. You can also come here to your world slider at any time and mess around with this valley here if you want it to be a little bit brighter. But that is pretty much what I'm gonna be going with here. I do think maybe with the jacket, I'll bring this value down just a little bit, make it a bit more saturated. And um, it's completely up to you guys. You can mess around with these materials as much as you want, with the vest as well. Maybe make it a little bit darker. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. So let's quickly give this our first final render. So let's go render, render image, and let's see what this looks like. 
So here we have it. Now we have a finished product. So we have a character. And like I said in the beginning in part one, this was not a rigging or animation tutorial. This was simply just a portrait. So here we have it. And you can make something really cool with this and um, spend more time. I was just simply doing a tutorial for this kind of style. And it, like I said in part one, it's more of a breakdown. So I didn't explain everything in a lot of detail. It's a bit more advanced, but I do hope you guys are able to make something cool with this. And um, once again, this blend file will be available on my Patreon. You guys can check that out.